Okay, there we go. Should be live. Um, today I'll be showing you some of the Kuva weapons that I own, which is four at the moment. I went and listed, I think, all of the Kuva weapons you can get. And then I will explain the process of how to get them. First, we'll go through the ones. Uh, we'll just go through all of them. There's the Kuva Brac. If you don't have the Brac, you can get the Kuva version. Um, the Kuva Shear. If you don't like the Shear, then don't go and get this. Um, I don't mind that have a small corrosive burst at the end. I guess that's not too bad. Um, there's this. The Kuva Dracon. The Kuva Brahma, which a lot of people like because it has this cluster bomb tipped arrows that can be detonated on midair or on impact, and a lot of people like that. Also, it looks really cool. And then this Kuva Shield Deg, I, I have that. Uh, this really weird rifle. Uh, also have the new core which I'm about to get. It's this really cool pistol. Um, and the Tonkor. So if you like Tonkor, you can get the Kuva version. This is the armor collection which you can buy. This was the Arc Ring. Then there's the Twin Stubbas. Stupas. Uh, I didn't mean to put the this twice. Hold on. Kuva. This the the comb. Com, whatever you want to call it. Okay, now that's I'm pretty sure that's all of them. I don't think I missed any. And then we're gonna oh the ogres, the one that I have. Uh, the one good thing about these, and then the other one I'll show you. These is, you can put up to five formas in them, which means, like, the Paracesis. Let's go to the Paracesis. You can have it up to 40. So, with, with these, when I add more into them, add two more in this, there should be to 40 then, I think. Or it might be, it might go 50, I don't know. Um, I'm in the process of leveling them up. And then this one I'm actually happy about because I actually have a ribbon for them, which isn't that bad. Okay, now I'm going to go through and show you these three weapons, and then I'm going to show you the... Um, this is the problem with this melee right now, it has this weird thing going on, where it's in front. Yeah, sensibility, yes. Okay, this is, um, the one I have right now, the Cortex, it's kind of like the, the quartz, or the quartz where when you zoom in on them, you look on, it's a burst. Okay, here's the brack. Again, I'm gonna go melee now. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the ogress. Um, and the way you get these weapons, oh, I guess I need to level that up too. Um, 
is you have to start a Google Lich. Leech, or every Lich, or however you want to say it. Um, and you can go... You can go to any level 20 plus or higher, or like any, basically any level on Saturn. And, um, you go through the mission, and when a Guardian dude pops up, you take him down, and or you take him down with your, your Parazon that you get when you update the game, you, uh, it will hover above them a little screen, and you can see what weapon you're going to get with, when you go to take down the Kugel Lich, and that's how you get you can pick between the weapons, any of these weapons that show up, you can get any of them, and if you don't like it, just end the mission, start another one, it could be the same one, and go through it again. And then, I don't, I'm pretty sure you don't need to complete your mission to do it, you can just run around until the Kugel Leech pops up, and then you take them down, and then the way you this and give it an orbiter. And basically, you're gonna start a Kuva Lich. I'll show you the one that I have. It's gonna be right here in the little screen. And once you come back from a mission that you took down a Leech or a Thrall for to start your next Kuva Lich, your whole ship is gonna turn red for a second and then it'll show who it is. Um... Okay, this is who I have. Your murder of me is now redefined as your attempted murder of me. Okay, this is my Kugelich. Uh, my weapon bonus is 20%, which isn't good. 40% or higher, 50% is good. Uh, it's just gonna have little... I took her down with Frost Prime, but that's why she's gonna have these little... Frost things, and then you're gonna look down here to the right and known Requiems. Right now, Jaha is one. I have to discover these two. And then these are my four three failed attempts at figuring out. I guess I used one twice by accident. Okay. And then if you basically now we're gonna go back to orbit and I'll show you them. She's taken the over. Sector is under control. Resistance crushed. Troops begin optimizing um, the local workforce. She's taking over Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, Arrhenius at the moment. Um, once you take her down, um, so basically you're gonna go through those missions. Um, back. Let's look at Arrhenius, I guess. Operator, um, I've run diagnostic progression. And it's gonna All show systems nominal. You don't need to thank me. Mission you can pick either the control territory by your lich or not. Um once you enter that um, let's go to Saturn. Down Okay, this 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 one will be good. This one will be good to show you. I'll just show you the mission. Um, you're going to take down Thralls with your Parazon, um, to basically get your privilege out of hiding, basically, and once you get their health so low, you have to either A, um, attack them with your Parazon, or just keep killing taking down their health and then they'll just automatically break up and leave which I've done twice already by accident I need you to sabotage the ship's reactor the reactor is a complex system start from the coolant cells my intel suggests there are rich enemy supply caches in the area but I am unable to pinpoint their exact location search them out if you are willing to shoulder the added risk Okay. Um, once you do these, actually... And then say, quickly, do that, boom. And 
then I think it's supposed to be white, but for some reason mine's you always be red. Cleansed. And then basically you just keep taking them down. Um, I think the total way of taking down is like 100 of them. No, 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 it's like... For the first one... Um... Basically, the first circle you noticed when I showed you here, I think I can show you right here. Okay. When it says known requiems, Your like the first one has not been forgotten, adversary. The first Your one crime is like of existence. Okay. The first one's like thirty, and then it goes sixty, and then it's like a hundred to do this one. So it's like a hundred something plus that you have to kill these thralls to know what your Requiem mods are. Okay, I'm just gonna exit and go back and then show you why all this mod stuff are important. And apparently if you do it in public, or not public, in a squad or something, it makes it go faster, but I'm not sure about that. Because I've tried it and I didn't really see a difference. Maybe it's just because I prefer playing solo. Okay. Operator, you have remembered well how the Tenno arm themselves. <clears throat> there's eight of these mods that you need to get. I don't have eight, I just usually um, get one. Um, notice how it has three little or red circles at the end. Once you use all three, it basically is gone. That's why I, um, you can get th different of these mods, but I just have these ones. Because I don't care, I guess, go for the other ones. And where you get these Requiem mods, it's, I guess, I mean, you can buy them off somebody if you want. Um, this one, all, all these have two of the, 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 um, mods you'll need for the, um, Parazon. Um, also has Kuva, a Riven Sliver. If you get ten of the Riven Slivers, you can trade them in for a Riven, I think. Um, mostly you get the Rivens from... The, these, the, um, Kuva Floods. From the Kuvas, there's a chance, there's also a chance from the Thralls, you can also get a Requiem Relic. So, and once you get all eight, I guess you could go at it and, you know, go for it. Um, like I was saying, the weapon... Your murder of me is now redefined as your attempted murder of me. Right now she's at rank 4 because... Um, Operator, that's why this one is the same because you begin I couldn't mission. get to her in time. And the weapon... Bonus, it is a chance at, you know, a high one. I think my highest one was 41%. If you can get lucky and get a 51, 61%, you could sell that for a lot of plat, especially if you have a room for it too. Um, yeah. This might be my last Kuva Leech piece. Now unless I can get the Bruma besides that. Besides those two, then I'm gonna be done with the Kuva Liches and never do them. Because on sorties, if you wanna do sorties, and let's say this last mission ended somewhere on Saturn, Pluto, Arrhenius, or Neptune, depending on whatever the um, reward is, the Kuva Lich can take it from you, and then you have to go and kill the Kuva Lich to get. Because once you kill Kuva Leech, you get all the stuff they have taken from you. Be 
because um, every mission you go to and you complete it, they take part of your loot because they control the sector. What's on your mind, Dreamer? So Tell they will them. take your stuff basically until you go beat them. And that's basically it for Kuva Leeches. They're kind of annoying. This is probably my last one until I get. If I can get the Bruma pretty easily, and then I might go for it. If you do um, different frames, also they'll have different like elements to them. I'm pretty sure because I did mine with Frost, and she has on her. Think, adversary. Fathom me, find me, and die. Okay, they usually also say the same stuff, so it gets really annoying. Uh, radiation, I think corros cor corrosive, I think. So I think if you did, like, Vauban, you get radiation and magnetic. And then if you do Ember, you get the heat and something else, probably, I'm assuming. You could just look it up on Warframe.com or the Wikipedia, probably. So if you want a certain uh, element type on your weapon, then you should probably choose a certain Warframe. And let's cut off the um, A lot of these frames I need to go through and just put like either one or two formulas in all of them. Like Ash Prime, or Atlas Prime, Ash Prime and just get them up more because I can get more used to them. Limbo doesn't need one, he's fine. I use him on multi defenses all the time. Serum Prime and Trinity Prime could probably use one more for other stuff. Yeah. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I didn't mean to wait so long on uploading another video, it's just that our internet hasn't been the best, and it's been going in and out, so I've been trying to make videos, but then I never get time to make it because I need to be on the internet to make Warframe videos. So, hopefully I can see you guys again real soon.